Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Friday, August 30th, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. I will start with this one here. Uh, we did close below this rising two-thirds speed line on Thursday by more of a margin than we did close below it on Wednesday. Wednesday was about a dime. On Thursday, it was about a full point. Uh, I would still like to see lower trade. I mean, we are. Uh, I'm, if if you went short based on that on um, you know Thursday afternoon, I have no problem with that. Uh, if you if you liquidated a long position that you were anticipating higher trade into next week uh, after testing 208.67 that speed line, I have no problem with that. It's just in terms of it is just so close. I think you can look at this chart and see. Uh, we also did not close you know uh, below uh, Wednesday's settlement price. Uh, that would have been a clear cut sell signal uh, if we had closed below Wednesday settlement price, at least from my perspective. And that would anticipated you know for instance one. 9176 within several days uh and yeah i might as well just cut to the chase in terms of the big picture that if we do let's just say we close lower today i mean we closed uh at uh, around 20629 i don't know what the official close was these charts were printed uh, within minutes of the uh of the closing bell and it didn't really fully settle out but it's going to be very close to 20629 and the low is 20597 so you know i think if we just close below 20597 below uh thursday's low that is sign enough that we can anticipate over the next 3 to 5 weeks by the end of september perhaps this descending channel bottom at 15297 now there will Will be meaningful support levels on the way down. You know, I've already mentioned how 19176, the low settlement price that was put out in early August, that would be kind of a two to three, three to five day target. I don't think we've got them all mapped up, but you have this double bottom here uh, back in May and June of 167.41. So it is, as I say, stair step. It is stair step. Uh, so there will be, obviously, it's not going to be straight south, uh, but yes. If we close today, uh, you know, let's just say uh, below 205.97. I mean, this is by a matter of degrees. Closing below 208.67, there's no good reason to be long Tesla as we move into next week. And in fact, if there's one way or the other, you want to be short. And certainly if we close, you know, lower on the day, below Thursday's 205.97 low, um, that is a clear-cut sell signal that I think you can play on. If you're long still, my my recommendation would be to at least exit a long position. Uh, if you're uh, looking to go short, that would be uh, the, the play. Closing below 208.67, 191.76, a three to five day target. And over the next three to five weeks, 152.97. As I've been saying, you can see 152.97 is dropping at a pretty decent pace in the 120s by the end of uh, September, which is to say that if we close lower on the day today, certainly below 208.67, that would anticipate uh, the upper 120s. This one year channel bottom at 128.82 would be in reach. And able to contain selling uh, not only through the rest of the year, but possibly in, well into the first quarter of next. And that kind of covers the downside. Uh, let's take a look here. Now, this is actually a structure. Now I'm talking to day traders. Assuming we open below 208.67, you should allow 198.73 today. That could be it for the day on a quiet Friday. If we break 198.73, I think you should then expect a 191.76 
stocks intraday. 191.76, once again, the low settlement price that was put out uh, in early August. So breaking 198.73, 191.76 is likely. Um, and um, I think that's a pretty well, uh, you know, you know, explanation of the downside. A 208.67, assuming we open uh, below it, is your resistance for the day. Solid day trade resistance to sell into, anticipating 198.73, where profits can be taken. Uh, and, uh, you know, if we happen to break 198.73, it is a play the short side day traders down to 191.76, where profits can be taken, I think, for the balance of the day. But once again, closing low on the day uh, and certainly closing below yesterday's 205.97 low. That would obviously be below the 208.67 speed line. Does set up a meaningful sell signal. Sorry about that. As we move through the month of September, uh, anticipating this 152.97 descending channel bottom uh, over the next three to five weeks. Let's talk upside today. We had a descending channel top that today's at 213.21 that managed to capture Thursday's highs. It is our upward pivot point. And so I've been mentioning how we've 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 settled so close to this two-thirds speed line that it could go either way. Right now, I skew slightly to the south. But really, as I've been saying, I want to see a lower settlement today um, for anticipating bearish continuation well into September. Inversely, we could quite easily open today above 208.67, 213.21, then likely where we could place a daily high. But be careful. I think if we te retest 213.21, it may give way second day in a row to higher trade. And uh, I still have it weighted as a level that can contain a session containment because I still want to underscore the importance of 213.21, that if we do close above 213.21, I have that up pivot. It does pivot the market up to 223.27 on Monday. And if we do close today above 213.21, I see there's nothing to be but long this market as we move through next week. Closing above 213.21 would signal the 237.91 structure, possibly within three to five days, uh, you know, possibly by the end of next week. I think that's actually quite realistic. 237.91 able to contain buying on a weekly basis. We could fall away from here and it would be a settlement above 237.91 that would set off a mean meaningful follow-through buy signal as we move through the month of September and into October. I would then expect higher trade, uh, quite possibly this 330.84 long-term channel top in the weekly chart within a couple of months of closing above that uh, 237.91 channel top that I once again show here. So um, we're still kind of on the edge. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, and right here, this says it all right here. We are, we did close below the 208.67 speed line, but not by the margin that I would like to see for what I would call uh, technical clarity on the sell side. I want to see a lower settlement on the day. So if you went short on Thursday afternoon with the settlement just below the 208.67 speed line, you want to see a lower settlement on the day. And then you can hold that to 191.76 within three to five days. And uh, if you're a longer term position trader, uh, you can uh, opt for uh, really what is now in the low 150s and dropping over the next three to five weeks. And inversely, as I say, if we were to, you know, close above 213.21, uh, it's the recommendation is to get long, stay long into next week, 237.91. Then I think a realistic uh, three to five day target, a couple of weeks at the most where we can top out on a weekly basis and significant upside continuation point as we move into into later September and October trade. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. We've done a couple stock picks already this week. You might want to check that out. Um, Marvell Technology was put out on Thursday. Uh, there's a there's a big trade waiting to happen on the buy side. We haven't uh, settled above our uh, ceiling yet, but we're pretty close. And that would be a nice rally as we move into October trade. But I'll let you check it out. Take advantage of that five-day free trial. Um, you know, you sign up and, um, you know, you can bail within five days. Uh, for no cost to you. But if in the, if you hang out uh, and you just might want to, as you see daily triple Q, daily spy analysis and all of our stock picks, uh, you know, it'd be $47 a month. So I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching our material. I'll be back uh, Sunday afternoon with Monday's Tesla report. And you have a great weekend.